I mean, we talk about colour in music in a rather kind of loose kind of way. We talk about it in all music. But with Messiaen, it was different. He actually really did, as it were, see these colours when he heard musical sounds. And in a way, that's a sort of difficulty with Messiaen's music, because one feels here is a whole kind of private world that we can't have access to, because we don't have Messiaen's private colour language. He had this faculty, which is called synesthesia. I have um, actually a condition called synesthesia. It's a condition in which normal sensations like being hearing or tasting or feeling are actually intertwined so that, for example, seeing or reading or hearing a word will give you a colour or a shape. That's a common example. For me, it's always taken the form of being able to see images to sounds and that can be any sounds really not just music. I, I didn't know the word synesthesia until relatively recently. When you see sound and you've always seen sound it's really n unremarkable. Synesthetic sensations really grab you they're thrown at you like a like a bucket of water really that you don't have much control you don't have any control over them really for example if i'm listening to a cd of some music i don't know at all it'll be throwing all sorts of stuff at you it may be suddenly that what the cellos are doing will grab you and they'll throw a color or and or a shape at you often it's like watching a film but to paint any of that piece, I have to take salami slices. And it may be, for example, the things that grab you most, which might be a key change. And you get a terrific shift of colour in from one chord, maybe, which is where the key changes, something like that. Painting is so inadequate. I want to do them in collage, materials, you know, fur, cardboard, copper, glass, um, and I think a lot of those differences might be to do with different timbres, and that would really relate to something like Turangalila, because you've got all these delicious textures. It's very hard to, to put it into words, but I get almost meditative. I, I just don't move. I see all these images and colours, and I tell you, if somebody is flapping a program or or rustling sweets or something I get those as images too and they come across the music and it's really painful it's almost like walking on pebbles or sharp sharp stones you know I, it's really an irritation I get these images of of coughs and things coming across and, and I, I can remember once a sneeze from behind came across in a concert and it was a huge um, sort of rhomboidal shaped deep, turquoise, opaque thing which came over my shoulder. I feel it's being in your right brain, if you know what I mean. The left brain is the um, logical, linear, verbal side of us all. The right brain is the airy-fairy, um, intuitive colours, shapes, disorganisation, can't find your way from A to B side of your brain. And I think when you're listening to music or in a park or walking through a wood or looking, just watching the sea, you're, you're in the same hemisphere, I think. It's interesting with Messian, I've done some painting of Messian, not very much, and he off, his music often presents to me as really more like coloured glass. Really, I want to construct a chandelier with his music, not just paint. I would um, hear different things and break it down into all sorts of different images for the different sounds that were coming at me and then perhaps paint a big series of them. But ideally if one had five years instead of one year I would want to do probably, um, I would think a series of stained glass. But it would be a wonderful project. So if you know anybody who wants a church filled with Turangalila, as stained glass windows, let me know. <laughs>